Greetings and salutations. Welcome to episode two of our Liverpool save. We're going to actually get to play some football today, guys. Um, please go and check out episode one because then you'll get to see the tactics that we're using um, to begin with until it goes all horribly wrong and then we have to change drastically. Um, but the tactics we're going to start with and our transfers for the season and everything. So I'm just going to assume this episode that you've, you've watched that. And if you haven't, just go watch it. Just go watch it. It's like 10 minutes. Just watch it. Right. As we saw in the last episode, we've got two relatively easy games. They're both away from home, but uh, we've got Crystal Palace and Aston Villa. We should be looking at at least four points from these two. If we're looking for Champions League spots, maybe even both two wins. But as I said, with the tactics, it's brand new. Uh, we are not competent whatsoever with the tactics. We're working hard and training hard to get used to them, uh, but it's it's kind of not happening just at the moment. Um as we've got the two false nines, like the Man City game with Coutinho and Firmino playing off of the big boy Ben Teke. Um, obviously, we start the season with a couple of injuries. Daniel Sturridge, the least surprising injury of the, in the world. He's out for another sort of six weeks or so. And then Jordan Henderson is also out for another month or so. <clears throat> All right, so let's get into it. One thing I will need to sec. This is this will be exciting for you people. Uh, I'll, I'll do it next game. It's just corner takers and shit. We'll do that. We've got nobody that's particularly good at them, so I don't think it matters too much. Right, so this is kind of a weird formation for me. I don't usually play 4-3-3 with two false nines, but hey, let's experiment. Both of them are retraining the positions as well, so they're still getting used to it. So there's a lot of gambles here a bit, I think. We just have to sort of see how it how it starts off. Okay, just about Crystal Palace, he's saying for us. Okay, that's fair enough. I might, in in maybe a season's time or something, if I, I might try the, the three false nines. Um, maybe look to get rid of Ben Teke, because um, he'll, he'll, you know, he's still worth a lot of money. So it, it might be something worth looking at. Right, yeah, we're favourites. Let's go and win it. But this could all go horribly wrong. Who knows? Like I said, we're, we're not used to the tactic. A couple of the players are kind of playing out of position a bit. And we don't want extended highlights on, that's for sure. Match feed settings is all set right. All good. Okay. And over this course of this, this first season, I'm going to try and include the new signings as much as possible. Our youngsters that we've signed, AO and um, Mamana. Give them some game time, especially in like League Cups and, and the Europe, uh, Europa League. Ideal place to give those youngsters a game. The board don't even care about it. They said they don't expect us to get beyond the group stage. So that's all good. Milner. Milner's like he's an okay player and he's very versatile and I'll use him he'll make a great tutor because his determination he's got the sort of perfect stats he's professional um, so he will be a tutor probably to ER when I remember to do it there's a big space on the left Sacco oh my lord there's a bullet okay Lee Chong Yong good start for the season It's all right. It's a good tackle. He just stood up big Sacco. But the ball wriggled away and he smashes it top corner. I wasn't expecting that. There's a there's a decent chance we'll get sacked. <laughs> Look, it's one goal and we're already talking about oh um it is a bit of a gamble. Um and then, you know, if that happens, like in any of my series, if that happens that I do get sacked in, in in one of my saves, I'll just talk to you guys and we'll go, okay, what do you want to do? Shall I carry on, try and find another job? Or shall I restart or do a different save? So we'll just, I just wanted to do this experiment. Um, so it just might be a short shit series. <laughs> okay, well, it's, yeah, it's not the best half of football. We get beaten on possession, chances, on target, off target, half chances. We've had more long shots though, so you know, and fouls. So that's good. Our pass completion is fucking awful with 63%. 
We're winning the tackles though. All right, Sacco picks it up on the left-hand side. Plays it across to Kabai. The goal scorer Lee dinks it through to Connor Wickham. Keep oh Jesus, keeper didn't even move. Didn't even move. Standing right next to it. Maybe he knew it was just going to hit the post and drop into his hands. We're going attacking. It's Crystal Palace. I'm going to go straight aggressive. Straight aggressive. You're just a bit desperate when you're already getting aggressive. First game of the season. But we've just got to find a way. We're going to do lots of sort of tweaking to this um, tactic. Well, from the kickoff almost. I think the biggest thing is just getting them used to playing this way because it's quite alien to most of them, it seems. All right, Sacco. Tackle him, tackle him, go on, tackle him. Goodbye. Good ball over the top. Mignolet saves with his shin for some reason, but, you know, saves a save, I guess. Not confident about Mignolet, I just don't have the money to bring him in, uh, bring another player in. Um, that definitely will be something I look at next season. He's okay as a goalkeeper. He'd, that's it, really. You don't. You got to do better than an okay goalkeeper if you're looking for Champions League. That's better, Ming the Merciless. Look at how we're getting eaten alive here by boys by Crystal Palace. It's like real life, I suppose. And I also haven't done stuff like um, set piece, set pieces, and so that's offside. Surely that's a great save. Well done, Ming. If any of you are just joining us, I'm wondering why there's no crowd. Uh, that's because I have it turned off. Just speeds up a bit. I haven't got the best computer. Um, as you can probably hear it in the background, that sort of whirring plane taking off noise is my computer. Um, new one is arriving in about a week and a half. Uh, so I just turned the crowd off because it speeds up processing a little bit in quality. Once the new computer arrives, we'll be moving to full 1080p. Like, can we have an attack? Can we have a highlight? That'd be lovely. Just something to show the fans. You put some pressure on it. This is what we want. Closing down. This is better. Big Jimmy Milner. Oh. Right. We win this. Yes. Oh, look. Come on. Skirt, skirt. Sort it out. Oh, look at that. Skirtle spreading the play. You don't expect to hear those words. Go on, Nathaniel. Good ball in. Tekkers. Point blank. Oh, <laughs> I'll take it. Keeper made a great save. It looked like it popped back off the defender. Tekkers is celebrating it like it's his own. I thought it ricocheted off him. Right, keeper makes a save. Oh, yeah. And then Dan sort of ch cocks it in, chests it in. I'm not going to complain with that. Okay, looks like Crystal Palace on the attack again. Goodbye. Soiree. Soiree, soir. Oh, so much space, so much space. Great save, Mignolet. <laughs> I'll take it back. He's playing like a hero. 6.7, apparently. But it, oh, 7.7. He's just got a whole point for that save. to make some subs and da, 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 da. I'm going to take Lucas off he's on that yellow card as a defensive midfielder is a bit scary Mr Versatile Emre Chan is basically going to fill in everywhere that we need him um, for the first year anyway at least I think and then Jordan Ibe. Let's give Jordan Ibe a run out. Fresh legs. He's also going to need quite a bit of training to get into that false nine position. 
It's just whether I can keep my job long enough to get the players trained in the positions and get them used to the tactic I want to play. That's going to be the tricky bit. If I go 10 games scraping a few odd results, I think that's where it's going to struggle. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah, low, no half chance is one clear cut chance. We've definitely, if we manage to draw this, I think we're a bit lucky. I don't think we can complain too much about this result. Oh, we can nick a winner, that'd be nice. Milner. Oh, that's unlucky. He's going to get it back, though. Skirtle. Emery Chan gets tackled. This could be scary. It's a poor ball out there. That will give us time to get back in position. Long ball over the top. My left back's gone wandering because they're on attacking. Oh, Minion, you didn't even need to save that, dude. I know you're on fire, but fuck's sake. Learn where your goal is. Okay, interesting. Mini lady sort of picks up off the ground. The only thing that is sort of interesting, I might put the wing backs on support just because if they're on attacking, you know, we've not really got enough cover. You know when uh, when they charge forward, so that could be okay. We're gonna go, yeah. I'm give him his debut. Play him as the advanced player, playmaker. He's definitely he's he's a good player. He's young, but he can definitely he's good enough to make an impact. Okay, looks. I'm not gonna say it yet because he's got four minutes of injury time. <laughs> Okay, now it looks like we're we've scraped a scraped a draw away from home against Crystal Palace. Um, not the worst result in the world. I'm more worried about the actual game stats there. We definitely uh, didn't create enough. We we'll definitely have to look at that. Yeah, fire them up. Uh, lots of debuts. Mignolet man of the match, after saying that he heard what I was saying about him. Um, all good, all good. I think we'll take that as a first game really to be honest. Um, let's have a look at our tactics. So I definitely think these are, these are going to cause us trouble. There's already massive holes here as, you, as you'd expect and we've not got a so if we had three midfielders, we could play maybe a little bit better and we could have those midfielders tracking back into these positions when the wing, wing back's gone forward. Um, but if we have them on support, then they shouldn't go too far. Shouldn't stray too far. Um, I think we might just put him on defend. Mm -hmm. Well, no, we'll leave him on support. We'll, we'll try and make... When you're playing about with a brand new tactic, if you just try and make... Um, like one change at a time because if I check made six different changes to this tactic now I won't know which ones have worked it'll be harder to work out which ones have worked um, so we'll make this one change here for the next game um, and then sort of move on from there I think uh, we're sort of chugging on to 15 minutes for this episode so I will end the episode here um, what I will do is um, I won't play any games off stream for this especially for the early bit of the season while we get sacked I mean uh, get used to the tactic um, so I won't so I'll come straight back for the next episode will be a double header for Aston Villa and the Arsenal game my first home game of the season nice easy one um, so yeah hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think of the tactic let me you know get involved tell me what you know if there's something wrong with the tactic or you can see that an option that might work better um, I want to sort of try and play this formation um, it's more just sorting out the roles and the mentality and the team instruction. So if you've got any advice or any tips or any thoughts on the on the subject, then uh, drop them in the comments. Please like and subscribe. It helps us massively. Let's reach 100 subscribers. That'd be amazing. I love you all very much. Bye-bye.